OpenAI O1 is a freak of its nature. This model is like anything that is unseen before. Now, I'm not getting into the discussion whether it is a model or an agent, but if you consider it to be an LLM, which is what OpenAI is launching it as, then this model is crushing a lot of different uh, models on private benchmarks. So I wanted to make this video showing different benchmarks for different domains and then show where this model stands when you compare this model with other models. First of all, this is a benchmark that is called LiveBench. According to them, this is a challenging contamination free LLM benchmark. There is a very popular name in this. This is Yan Likun. There are other big names here. So the main idea here is that a benchmarks typically contaminate or get contaminated because the data leaks and LLMs and LLM training providers tend to use this data to train the LLM and then somehow the LLM finally has that answer part of the training. So can you have a fresh set of questions every month so that the LLM does not know the exact question and that is the fundamental of live bench and live bench results are out and a global average for live bench O1 preview open AI O1 preview is a topping the benchmark and if you see the reasoning benchmark this is insane O1 mini the latest one that they got launched is a 77 and O1 preview is 68 while the third best model Claude 3.5 sonnet is just 58 so that means this is a 19 points above the next best model or the previous best model so O1 mini is 19 points 19 percentage points better than Claude 3.5 sonnet in coding there is not a huge difference Claude 3.5 sonnet still seems to be the king and in terms of math O1 mini and O1 preview once again tops the chart in terms of data analysis O1 preview tops the chart like at seven points difference in terms of language once again O1 preview tops the chart and in terms of if average this is a different test altogether in this case O1 preview does not even come to the top at all so overall global average if you see O1 preview is quite at the top much better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet but O1 Mini is just on par with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. The second one is uh, by an individual researcher, so Aiden McLeod. So Aiden has got his own benchmark, a private benchmark, private set of questions that we do not have any answer, any clue about. And in this particular uh, benchmark, so the reason why I'm trusting this is because this person doesn't have any incentive to hype up OpenAI. And uh, if you see this person, they have released their benchmark result and own mini has scored 645 points while the next best model is chat gpt's or open ais gpt4 the previous one and they scored 361 so this is more than double the times of better than the previous best model also this is a benchmark that you know you have to understand that this is a private set you have no idea what kind of questions are there in the benchmark but the one thing that the author has um, actually confirmed is that the temperature setting makes a huge difference in the benchmark result so they had to do multiple runs and also the model O1 in this particular case is extremely slow so they started the benchmark uh, you know like quite uh, like long while back and this model ran it like I think a day or so so the, the I started the O1 run five minutes after the release on Thursday morning it finished Saturday morning I mean it's almost like two days approximately or one and a half days so the model is extremely slow and also there is a rate limit but that's not exactly what we are looking here so we are just trying to find the best model and O1 mini is absolutely a beast one of the reason one of the theories a lot of people have been saying that O1 mini is much better than O1 preview at this point is that O1 preview comes with some kind of a throttling and O1 preview is a preview model of what is going to come which is O1 while O1 mini is the actual model in itself they might make some improvements but O1 mini is the actual model so one of the reason that O1 mini is more production ready than O1 preview is because O1 mini does not come with any kind of chain of thought throttling the next one is a benchmark by another uh, person Sheetal I think uh, Sheetal is a deep learning researcher in this particular case okay so chat GPT O1 is getting 80% on my privately held benchmark the previous best was 30% by Claude 3.5 Sonnet and 20% by GPT 4.0. Look at the difference. The difference is massive and quite insane. And you know, before uh, getting into all these things, then the most important thing here is that the benchmark here uh, has a lot of uh, language uh, arts related problems. And uh, people are asking like, can you, you know, open it up? But 
basically the benchmark set is um, it has representative questions for very obscure knowledge composing rare rare languages simple but laborious math problems language arts and reasoning questions there are a lot of questions where gpt4 just gets a score of zero while if you see o1 has got 80 percent on this privately held benchmark one more example of how o1 is completely crushing even its um, big brother or elder brother younger brother whatever if you consider gpt4 o much better than claude 3.5 sonnet and the next one is another benchmark called zero evil so zero evil has a bunch of different uh, domains in which they understand uh, the model benchmarks for knowledge they use mmlu redux uh, then they've got math and uh, uh, logical reasoning and coding so they've got math logical reasoning coding and knowledge so on an average if you see o1 mini uh, scores the highest average so 78 is the highest average the next best average here is 65 which is gemini 1.5 pro and gpt4 o gemini 1.5 pro all these are like somewhere in the ranges of 63 to 65 claude 3 sonnet is 63 or 62 and the gemini 1.5 pro on an average is 65 and here comes o1 mini and that is 78 it is an insane difference in terms of mmlu there is not a huge difference i would say still uh you know chat gpt 40 is the best in terms of uh, the other benchmarks o1 mini completely crushes the competition and once again steals the top the next one is uh out of all the general benchmarks let's say like not a math not a reasoning this is a benchmark that is evaluated on medical data set there is a data set called agent clinic med qa and if you happen to use the model o1 preview this is once again insane so the second position is gpt 40 which uh, gets about like 50 percent and the first one is o1 preview that gets about 80 percent accuracy from 50 to 80 percent is an insane jump and this is this is this is quite unbelievable um this is a model uh, that is um again model agent chain of thought you can call it anything system open still wants to call it a model so this is a model that is getting a bump of more than 30 percent 30 percent points than their previous model that is available here so as you can see here this is another insane area um which is medical a lot of people are trying to use uh, models for it uh, the tasks involved like diagnosing illness interpreting medical imaging and a bunch of other things and it seems like this model is a text only based model that's another catch here but it is doing extremely well the next benchmark is called a new new york times connections so this is a game in new york times it seems like i've never seen this game before so you have to basically create like a four groups of four uh, i don't know exactly how do you play so there is a sample prompt that the author has shared so you basically give that this is what you have to do and then you start sharing the words you give an example and then you start sharing the words for today like the words here and then you expect the llm to solve it so according to uh lich mazur um I, I hope i'm pronouncing the name correctly so the model o1 preview has scored 87 and gpt 4 o scored 26.5 and there was a multi-turn ensemble model that this person had created which is 37.8 and o1 mini itself is 42.2 like like this is an ensemble model but o1 mini the individual model itself has scored 42.2 and o1 preview has scored 87 it's freaking 87 like look at the chart like the chart doesn't even look uh, even um anyways i'll uh, uh, i'll share the prompt in the youtube description for you to play it out the next one is from uh, Rishabh, uh, who is uh, running a famous company. He has been releasing a lot of models, uh, SQL focused models. Um, they do, you know, primarily text to SQL stuff, a bunch of other things. So, O1 Mini outperforms O1 Preview in SQL level in uh, converting natural language questions into SQL queries. The previous best was their custom model, SQL Coder 8 billion uh, Pro model, which was 90%. And O1 Mini out of box. The, see, this is not a sql fine-tuned model that's one thing that you have to understand so like for example if you take a general purpose model before which is gpt 40 that was 87 percent if you take another general purpose model claude 3.5 sonnet that was 86 percent while oman mini has scored 92 percent this is a six percent point difference imagine you've got 30 point uh, 30 percent 
it's it's fairly easier for you to go from 30 to 40 but when you are already at 86 percent point or percentage then hitting that getting that six percentage point is also huge benefit and you can see that out of box without any fine tuning Owen mini and both Owen preview are doing extremely well with a text natural language text to sql questions and uh, Owen mini seems to be topping the chart here so at this point i have uh, given you i hope clear understanding about a bunch of different tasks like whether it is language understanding uh, reasoning medical uh, related questions text to sql a lot of benchmarks uh, including live bench Owen mini and Owen preview seems to be doing extremely well but i would like to leave you with a couple of thoughts about when do you have to use this model and what are the problems you have got a very popular individual uh, research institute or a company it's called artificial analysis they have released their report as well so their insights as well so according to their insights these models are extremely good they're pushing the, uh, the whatever you called as intelligence frontier further like this is the best that humanity has seen ever in terms of large language models or ai but the story is not that the story is that these models are super expensive to use that it pushes their charts and they take a lot of time to solve problems latency so if you see the comparison in terms of quality their own quality index artificial analysis quality index so you can see own preview is 85 so the previous best Claude 3.5 sonnet and gpt4 was 77 so from 77 you have gone to a completely new territory there is a new frontier where you have reached 85 with own preview and 82 with own mini but the problem here is that the model is extremely slow when you compare it with a model like let's say a gpt4 o that is go that gives you 94 output tokens per second own preview gives you only 23 and this can change based on how much the model thinks and that is one of the complaints. if you see rishab also has mentioned that uh, the main failure mode for own preview is that it can overthink even sometimes simpler questions and often gets it wrong so it is extremely good for complicated use cases but it's not good for very simple use case um, because model tends to think a lot and in terms of price it's it's insane i hope the pricing would go down like that uh, i mean the, this seems to be the trend of what openai has been doing but again this is an expensive model uh, the the multi-step process or whatever they call as thinking will take a lot of time and uh, compute uh, during inference so the model cost the price is insane another big problem that i've heard from a lot of people that the model is not consistent you cannot control the temperature at this point so you do not know what exactly the model is going to spit out and you can use it so the model is highly inconsistent and that also means that um, the model tend to produce different results one thing that people have been telling is that okay can i make other models also have a multi shot like a cot chain of thought but um, you know best of five or something so the creators of zero evil they kind of try that so if you see zero evil so we prompt lms large language models in a zero shot manner and instruct them to output their reasoning steps and final answers in a structured format so they kind of like not exactly like what owen does it but they kind of try to do that but despite that owen mini has become a huge success in that case so if you see uh, the artificial analysis report as well so owen uh, uh, preview is um, quite at the top but it is also very expensive it is at a, it's a totally different ball game altogether in terms of the cost uh, so if you see the cost is somewhere like they <laughs> they didn't have a chart x axis there now they had to create a chart so if you were to use this model so this is definitely not a model that you should be using in production for um, let's say you've got a sas or something but this is definitely a model that you can use to push the frontier for example you've got a math problem you've got um, you know some uh, um, niche obscure problem that you want llms to solve for you i think this is one of the best models that are available for the humanity to use and um, yeah if you have got chat gpt plus subscription you probably have got a 30 i think 30 messages per week uh, limit and then you can uh, use the model but either way it seems like openai has actually cooked a very strong model or system i'm leaving that argument again whether it is a system or a model but one thing that we know for sure is at this point cod chain of thought with reinforcement learning tuning is going to work 100 percent i'm i cannot wait for somebody else to replicate this and create a new model and let's wait and see what is going to happen did you feel anything like this with own preview or own mini let me know in the comment section otherwise 
subscribe to the channel see you in the another video happy prompting